What's up, everybody? It's HTG Brian here, and we're back with Manhattan Noir Free Room for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. That's right, there are a handful of collectibles scattered throughout. We're going to go ahead and trudge our way through and get them all right now. That's right, there's even a boom boss battle for completing this area. So here we are with Daredevil standing in front of some sort of city hall or something in the middle of no Manhattan Noir which is also where our computer terminal is. So we're going to set the destination for that and make our way on over there. Speaking of which, on the way over there, I realized Daredevil has some sort of a web-slinging uh, situation. I don't know. It's not a web-slinging, but it is pretty cool, and it kind of functions the same. And we'll go ahead and check that out in a minute. But I activated that computer terminal and puked out all those collectibles. And look at that. We've got them all over the place. And we've got only a handful. We got about halfway, actually, through that cartographer and the order of which you do these is not important, and it is important to know that we do have quick links down below in the video description for you to kind of scan your way through. Maybe you've got all the puzzles, you just need a mission, or maybe you need to know how to free Stan Lee. Regardless of what it is, those quick links are down there and available for you. Meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and throw on our wetsuit and drop down below and see what we can find in this first treasure chest here. That's right, get off me, raccoon. You see, a little too close to comfort there. Really, we're going to follow this uh, broken power line all the way over to the wall here. And if you're really paying attention, you might notice that there is a little digging spot right here in the shadows. We're going to go ahead and switch on over to a character we already had out, which was kind of funny, but whatever. And we'll smash and, well, we get to dig up, then smash, then rebuild those bricks into a switch. We'll flip the switch and oh to the yeah, you guessed it. Treasure is officially ours. We'll take that gold brick. Thank you very much. And next up, we're going to go ahead and collect that because we don't want to have to do this over again. I had to do that in one of my preliminary runs. I had to do two things one or twice, and I thought that there was two Stan Lees and two something else's. And I was like, God, oh, that's really weird. They're using basically the same thing. But it turns out I was wrong. But next up, we've got, oh, look at that. It's Hawkeye on top of the old Manhattan Noir Bridge. And this race is... Uh, a foot race, so you can pick any character you like. And I do believe you have to complete the Black Widow mission that was either in Asgard or maybe Sakaar. I can't remember which area, but we had to... There was They were both there. It, may, it might have even been Nueva York, honestly. It's, it's in the last couple of videos that we've done. But uh, anyhow, once you get that one completed, you should be able to go ahead and access this bad boy. And it doesn't matter, like I said, who you choose. You definitely need somebody with a little bit of uh, foot speed and maybe a little agility as well. And it turns out I did not even mean to start this race. I just kind of accidentally hit the Soiko button. And when I did, it started. And then I just kind of took off with it and ran with it, literally. And as I tight pants, tight rope my way, actually, I'm zip lining down. Uh, we actually, turns out this this backpack, the little jet pack he has, certainly got me out of a pickle more than once. And look at that, I made it to the end and still had plenty of time. So Hawkeye is officially unlocked and ready for purchase. Now, I can't remember if it's this video or the next one. That's right, I recorded the next one before I edited and got this one out to you. But uh, it's either this one or the Hydra Empire. I actually accidentally purchased one of the Captain America, so you'll have to forgive me for that, as I promised I was going to do all the unlocking, or purchasing, I should say, in our stream that we have planned for once we get done with free roam challenges and Gwenpool missions. But I messed that up already, so I bought one, but... All right, moving along, we got puzzle number two, which is just down here on one of the main side roads here. That's right, I said main side road. Uh, anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and target the little piece above the ladder. Go ahead and get up top there. Go ahead and bust the boxes. Rebuild those pieces into some sort of a Captain America shield switch pole. All right, it's more of a boinger on a pole. And then uh, across the street, we got a fire we need to stamp out with Captain America's shield. And then we'll build those pieces back up into a shield switch plate. We'll go ahead and toss our shield off the boinger. Get that switch flipped. Open the door, and of course, go ahead and get that goo brick. You know how we love us some goo. Sure All right, so we got in there. The fresh bread might have been nice too. Oh, look at that little uh, <laughs> little carnage ensuing before we leave there. I guess a little redecorating was in need. Hmm? All right, next up, we've got a shoreline puzzle here. This one's kind of tucked in along the edge of the era. And it's pretty simple to find, actually. There's a couple of boxes. We're going to go ahead and smash them all on right by the beach, man. And as it turns out, one of them has a Captain Psych. It is a Doctor Strange pad. And we'll go ahead and hop on there and carve out the shape. 
Now keep in mind, you can make a mistake. If you do, you just have to do it over again. If you complete the mistake, you'll have to do it. If you don't complete it, you can actually kind of retrace your steps and backtrack, and you should be able to get out of your jam that you got yourself into. Once you get that completed, though, it actually powers up this chest behind us and opens the door for yet another gold brick. Next up, what do we got? What do we got? It's another puzzle. Yeah, so I felt it was kind of fun or easier to track the gold bricks with the puzzles. Uh, so I did those first and kind of finish off with the Stan Lee at the end because he also gives us a gold brick. But for some reason, I just kind of ended up doing all of the puzzles at once rather than mixing up the missions with them, too. So we'll go ahead and do those missions towards the end. I did sneak a race in there, though. Anyhow, uh, we got a silver brick that needs to be destroyed. Oh, we got some silver plated armor over here on these bad guys, too. So this is pretty easy. You got to take out this guy. However, this guy is a little bit more powerful than most. Oh, psych. No, he, look at that. He is. Oh, he is. See, I, I thought I remembered him being a little bit of a pain in the tuchus. He kind of follows the whole boss battle premise of like you have to, you know, make him see stars, get up close and then pow him right in the kissa. But you have to repeat it three times. It's the rule of three. He gives us a couple of buildable bricks so once we take him out and all of a sudden look at that we've got the mob boss car shooting away oh and look at this the silver bricks that we destroyed that silver car over here gave us some buildable bricks that we can build into a reflection pad and now this is kind of a funny angle here you got to blast that hood ornament right off the front there look at that we opened up the hood what's inside oh it's not a hemi it's a gold brick we'll go ahead and collect that and target our next puzzle which happens to be puzzle number five this one looks like it's on the rooftops of that uh, town hall building or whatever it's called. Let's see. Let's see if it gives us a name when we get up close to it. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. Here we go. What is it? Uh, nope. No name for it. So, all right. We got some train cars. Don't ask me how they got on top of this roof. But uh, well, let's see here. We need uh, Thor. We also need Black Bolt. We also need Spider-Man for this. So we need a handful of peeps. And, you know, I quit talking about requirements for all of these because I'm just going to assume that you've already completed the story and the free play and got most of the characters that you need for all this. Most of these characters were unlocked throughout story, so you should be able to complete most of this stuff uh, pretty early in the game. But we're going to complete it towards the end. We're kind of... I don't know if we're in the home stretch yet. We still got, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine more free roam areas to do and like three or six more Gwen pool missions and like a couple challenges too. So, but you know, in the grand scheme of things, we've got roughly 65, 70% of the game done. Um, and that includes videos too. So, all right, you saw me black belt, I mean, black bolt. <laughs> off that glass a minute ago then we had to use a little bit of some grapplage to reveal that we need some magic to manipulate time so we'll spin that time wheel around and we got uh well we we notice here that uh we see that we've got a powered up terminal there but we also have some pipes that don't make it over we also have a grapple plug so we've gone all the way back in time i think i, I to be honest with you i wish there was some sort of on-screen uh, indication of whether we were going forward or back in time now usually you could tell like if it's a flower it grows or it shrinks and you can kind of tell by that with this one you know it's hard to tell were the pipes already busted and we fixed them or were they fixed originally and that see like i don't really know that you got to know a little bit more on this in order to understand it but essentially what we're trying to do is complete that line all the way over rip that grapple plug out so we can build up the rest of that power and then uh literally and, and i mean like power like power right in the power right in the kiss that kind of power but we also need power to it so power to the power that's right uh, that should be a t-shirt, right? Power to the power. Anyhow, uh, maybe, maybe that'll be one of my new things. we got to add power to the power. Woohoo! Doesn't make sense unless it's, you know, look at this. Oh, and pow! So it bounces all over the place. That's pretty awesome. It's kind of like uh, Rocky on the run there. Adrian! Anyways. All right, moving along, we're going to go ahead and pick up that gold brick. And next up, guess what? We've got another puzzle. So, let's see here. Where are we going? Where are we going? This one is pretty close by, too. And again, there's no special order that I did these in. Uh, some of them unlock other ones, so there's kind of that premise. But in this particular case, you just do the ones that are closest to you, 
and or or you know ones that you understand. Some of them you might not understand. Like this one is kind of self-explanatory. You just need a character with the sensibility. Somebody like Black Panther, and look at that. Or Spider-Man will do the trick as well. And I did kind of struggle with this one. If I'm being totally honest, there will be an edit coming up in this puzzle because I didn't quite understand. So there are three gargoyles up top. And he just dropped one of them on us. And so you can see there's one on the left now and one on the right. And you can see he's actually trying to push the one on the right over. And the camera kind of pans over to these twirly poles. So, you know, I pull out Spider-Man and then, uh, well, actually, I take that back. Really, that was where the edit was. Uh, no, I take that back. I pulled the grapple down. Then right now, I pulled out Thor and went up top and got the electricity because I thought, you know, he can handle electricity. Well, that's what we need, clearly. But it turns out that's not the case. You needed to spin up those twirly poles and knock that one down and then use the sensibility to go ahead and avoid the second falling gargoyle. So two down, one to go. Luckily for you guys, I edited out all of my mishaps and uh, there was probably five minutes of me going, uh, what do I do now? I don't really know. I even got all the way up on those twirly poles. I flew and landed on the top piece, but you have to spin around on the twirly pole for that to actually fall. So I didn't quite do what I needed. So it was totally user error. I just couldn't figure it out. And that's probably why you're watching this video. Either you like my company or perhaps you got stuck on something and just wanted to figure that out. So on the left-hand side, we had to uh, smash and rebuild a boom box. Once the music starts playing, all of the locals run over and get their dance on. That allows us to get up under this gargoyle, use our sensibility a third time, and avoid it. And look at that. It went booyah kashow up top. And oh, it's the shaka. And I don't mean the Dane Cook shocker. I mean the Marvel Universe shocker. And this one I found pretty simple. As long as you're attacking him from a distance, you seem to have the best impact rate on him. I don't know why. Sometimes these characters, when you're up close and personal, they just don't seem to take damage, even if that lock isn't showing. And I'm not really sure what's up with that. I also tried my Street Fighter tactics, too, where you just try to pin the character in the corner and basically... Uh, prevent him from doing any counterattacks or getting out of anything. It's a really cheap move, but, you know, hey, it, you, when you got to win, you got to win, right? In this case, we got to win, and look at that. Last but not least, pow, he's down and out. Look at that. He gives us a character token, but there's no face on it. That's because he swoops it back and says, no way, buddy. Not that easy. I'm going to make you work a little harder. And he ends up being the boom boss battle, not to spoil it for you, but hey, we get his character token a little bit later. So we'll see you in a minute, Shaka. Next up, puzzle number seven, which happens to be the second to last puzzle of the area. We'll go ahead and target that bad boy, and looks like he might be inside a building. Hmm. Yeah, I recorded this a couple of days ago, so this stuff's fresh, but not like ultra. Oh, it's on top. Oh, this one was. All right, so every free roam, there's always that one puzzle that kind of throws me for a loop. You would think it would have been that gargoyle one because it really kind of stumped me. But yeah, back-to-back -back whammies. That's right, this one got me as well. So I'm giving you kind of the overview here, and then I do a couple of edits to speed things up because this one took me even longer. But essentially, there are two roller pads up here. I'm on one of them, but it's smoking, you can see, and it's not functional. We actually need to open up that treasure chest right to the right of it right now in order to get the remaining bricks needed to complete it so we can activate it and use it. Luckily for us, there is another roller pad on the opposite end of this roof, and that one is functional, and that's going to give us power to the first line. Now, we have, basically, we have power that we need to use from this line to open up that treasure box in the back. That one will give us the bricks we need to power up the second line. Once we have both lines powered up, we need to reroute the power to that treasure chest in the middle, right, where that blue halo is raining down on. That will open up the box and give us our gold brick. So, uh, that being said, you can see that there are different colors on some of the pipe parts out there. And there are different colors on the spinny wheels. You can see this one's kind of got a yellowish-orange, and it spins the yellowish-orange pipe piece. The goal, again, is you have to power up the first treasure chest to get the parts for the roller panel. Once that is powered up and you have the roller panel parts, you go ahead and activate it and reroute the power. So you can see here, even though I edited out a fair amount of this, it still took me forever to figure all of this out. So I'm trying to like plan ahead here and route that power right to it. And it does help me out later, but not right now though. 
And to be completely honest with you, I do feel like the chunk we just watched was probably intended for me to remove, but it didn't get removed. So you guys get to, you're going to laugh at me. They're all going to laugh at you. Ha ha. Anyways, that's all right. You can laugh at me. I have uh, no problems with that because, you know, sometimes even the teacher needs to be taught a lesson. And in this case, look at me. I am struggling. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? So, anyways, we, we'll get it right now. We're going to go ahead and power up this left side line here. It gets me almost all the way to that treasure box. Now I just got to figure out how do I get that power rerouted over there. I'll flip this orangish yellow one not once but two more times because we got stuck in a loop there. Come on, flip it again. Or wait, or do I flip the green one? That's right. I do because the green one... Nope, psych. I go back to the orange one. Let's go ahead and flip this one more time and it should take me right around and... Almost. We got to flip that pink. No, wait a minute. What's going on here? I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I flipped the green one. So we're going to have to flip the orange one at least. Oh, so look at that. It worked. So it wasn't how I intended to get it open, but it, it actually worked. So, you know, your solution to the puzzle may be just a hair bit different. There's probably more than one way to solve it. But if there isn't, take note of how I got that power routed for that first line. And then go ahead and build up the second Roller pad here and get your roll on. You basically roll until you see the little battery charge up right next to it. There's a little meter that fills up. And once you get that, we have to reroute this power from the first one. That's right. Flip the red one a couple of times. And that should get it back over to this middle section. I actually got to flip it three times. Third time's a charm. And all right. Go ahead and open the door. All right. That's, that's good news. We, uh, we're about halfway through this video, and we've got almost all of the puzzles done. And these missions are usually pretty easy. In fact, there's only two missions. We have two missions, one puzzle, a gold brick, and a Stan Lee left before we get to that boom boss battle. So this next mission coming up is for Wiccan. And he is wickedly awesome. Actually, I don't really know much about Wiccan. I'm probably even saying his name wrong. So, yeah, I take a long peek there just to make sure there's no other unlocked puzzles. I do see one off in the distance there, but it was so far away, I figured we might as well just do this mission as we are standing right on top of it. So I'll go ahead and drop off the building and look down below, and we've got not just Wiccan, but the Hulkling, too. So we'll go ahead and chat it up with these two and see what they've got in store for us. As it turns out, we uh, just need to run around and do a little bit of due diligence. So basically, we got to play hide and seek, and then we have to play the rule of three. So we have to do it three times. And then we have to, uh, you know, pow, 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 right in the kiss up. So we'll go ahead and follow them over to our first group of people. So essentially, there are, what, five, six people standing on three different street corners. You have to interview them by pressing the icon indicated. For us, it happens to be circle or swickle. And what, what we got to do is we got to find out who is speaking like an old, like, 50s mother, like, 50s TV show mother character role. So, you know, there's some people that are going to say, like, oh, the weather today is terrible. And there's other people that are like, oh, hot dogs are yummy. You know, the people you want to pay attention to are not them. It's actually the one person that says, ooh, it's raining. Put your coat on, honey. Ooh, make sure you get your beans in before you leave. Actually, beans is probably a bad idea. Uh, especially if you're traveling with friends. You can put your own conclusion together on that one. But uh, who you have is not important. However, once you discover who it is, it turns out you actually have to battle her. So, uh, no, not a dance battle off. It is actually uh, cha-cha. So we'll go ahead, and we're sure it's her. But we'll go ahead. Let's see, what third time? Yeah, did you eat all your vegetables? You need to grow big and strong. Yeah. How are you doing? Definitely not motherly. Uh, you're not going dressed like that very motherly. So we've got our target here, and once you for sure know who it is, all you have to do is just simply attack them. Now, it's weird because you kind of got this little notion from your, I don't know if it's from Hulkling or from Wiccan, but one of them tells us to not make any moves and, and we don't want to spook her. But you have to. You actually have to get up close and personal, and you have to deplete her that meter just a little bit before she takes off. In fact, do you have to go all, maybe you have to go all the way down. Yeah, you, yes. You have to go all the way down, and then she runs off and hides again. And then we repeat the whole process two more times. So I wasn't sure if it was only depleted a third, or the full, but it's the full Monty. So we'll go ahead and... That's right. We try to do our possessing, but go away simply doesn't do the trick. But she does go away. So I, I guess, depending on how you're looking at that, it sort of worked. 
All right, moving along, we'll follow the old blue stud trail all the way around. Really, we're just following them to the opposite corner here. Once we get here, we should see a couple of people. Oh, no, that's right. It's uh, it's weird. We go the long way around, but it's literally at the end of the block. That same block, which makes sense because she did take off to the right, which is right about where we are. All right, and immediately, I, I don't waste any time talking to everybody. As soon as I get that motherly advice, I just go right to the carnage and start spamming that button. So, woo to the who! It is uh, over for you. I was going to say the demise, but demise didn't work, so... Anyhow, I, I'm a little rough this morning. It's way early. Normally, I, uh, you know, do some other things first. But I had this video already, and I wanted to make sure I got it out to you as quickly as possible. So, all right, second round done. Third round, fight. We got to make our way all the way over around the way. It's actually not that far. It's just about a block and a half up and over. And, all right, maybe it's a couple blocks. Once we get there, though, it's the same process. Do some interviewing, find that motherly role, and we'll go ahead and power her right in the kisser. Apparently, we've got some motherly issues as we're trying to figure out. Now, granted, it is mother who is apparently somebody. I, you know, I'm not. I'm confused. Like the mother I am aware of is the main computer in the Alien series. You know, but that's not going to be relevant here. Marvel isn't attached to aliens, right? I mean, I guess maybe maybe there if you follow it up. They're owned by the city? I don't know. I, I think there's probably a character called Mother or something that I missed. And, and that just goes to show you that this Marvel world is huge, and I only know like 3% of it. So I apologize to you Marvel fans out there who are just looking at me shaking your heads or listening to me shaking your heads going, man, uh, this guy knows nothing. I apologize because I, I admit it. I don't know very much, especially outside of the main staple characters and stories. So... Like Wiccan and Hulkling. I remember seeing them in Lego Marvel 1, I think. Or maybe it was Avengers. Or maybe both, perhaps. But regardless, I, I you know, I don't really know much about them or where they even come from, for that matter. So, All right, next up, what do we got? We got another puzzle. It's gold brick number 8. Happens to be over on the pier over here. Which, luckily for us, hey, I didn't plan this, but we happened to finish that last mission right kind of over by where this puzzle is. So that worked out rather nicely. And it turns out we need somebody with the telekinesis and grappling ability. So Dr. Strange will get his strange on for us. Look at that. He's going to go ahead and pick up and slam down that box. That's right. slam Obama. We got, uh, ooh, a couple of buildable bricks. Let's see if we can get some more from that grapple situation. And yes, so this little lady here has apparently purchased some tea. The way she talks, it sounds like it's not really tea. It may be something that's not really legal in the United States. But anyhow, it, she certainly wants to get her fix on here. So we're going to try and help her create this. And she says something about it's like a TTT, which I thought was kind of funny. But uh, so here, here I am, like, insinuating that it's something illegal. But then there's also a reference to the game developers. <laughs> uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't really know. But we got to go ahead and build up this giant... I guess it's some sort of like a, um, what do they call it? It's not like a stovetop. It's uh, not a heat pad. What do they call those things? A hot plate. Yes, it was bothering me so bad I actually paused my recording and went and looked it up. It's just one of those things, you know. It's a little bit of a <laughs> brain fart, as I like to say. But All right, so we have manipulated the tea, that's right, into the big cup here. Boy, that's a large cup of tea. And as soon as it happens, all the bad guys show up. So this is why I said I feel like this is maybe some something illegal and not tea. Regardless, she wants to drink it and relax, I think she said. So, again, suspect. Uh, but, anyhow, we'll, we'll keep on keeping on here. We got a couple of bad guys. We got one of those ninjas that I am not a fan of. This is, you know, there's a couple of bad guys that I don't really care for. The ones with the, the ninjas, also the ones with the spears are terrible. I can handle the shield guys. Those guys aren't so bad. But, I mean, look at him. He's just doing hamstring or back handstrings for days. Just boing, 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 boing. And every time he does major damage to whoever you have out. So, uh, I'm not sure what the best way to fight these guys is, but I can tell you right now, it's from a distance. And also, you definitely want to avoid any of those red line circles or whatever that they're coming at you. I get lucky here because I don't actually totally nail him and depleter that meter. I actually knock him off the edge. Or maybe, maybe it's his buddy. Maybe it's another one. Nope. It, uh, was it him? Yep. Look at that. So he still had a little bit left, but I got lucky, and he is down and out. 
But now we need to manipulate this a little bit more and pour it out. So yeah, now we're destroying the evidence. You guys can see what I'm saying here, right? Like I'm not, I'm not reaching for something. It's pretty right in front of us. I, although it might be something relevant to the Boston Tea Party or something too. There's all sorts of things it could be. But in the end, we complete it and we get our goo brick, which happens to be the final puzzle gold brick that we get. And hey, speaking of gold bricks, let's go ahead and build our gold brick monument or statue, as I've been calling them. This one is nice. And, and, you know, all these are homage to the area. And, you know, I don't know if these actually need to be completed or not. That's one of those things where, you know, sometimes they throw a little collectible or something in there that just doesn't have any relevance to, like, 100%ing or anything. I would imagine that you have to do these to, to get the 100%. But it's possible you might not need them. And, hey, speaking of needing, there are uh, there's a tro trophy achievement called Road Rage 2 for getting 100 cars exploded. Loaded. That's right. You got to take them out, whether you shoot them, pew them, blow them up, smash them, doesn't matter. Uh, we've been kind of taking out a few every video just to kind of help with that. And at the end, when we go ahead and farm that, it'll only take us a few. Hey, look at that. J. Jonah Jameson is standing right next to our gold brick statue. So things are kind of working out. You know, like in previous games with Free Roams, I would generally go and map out my pathway and kind of figure out the best and, and the most fluid way from, from the beginning to the end. But in this one, because it shows us where everything is, I really just kind of winged it as I went along. And every once in a while, I got some edits or had to start an area over once or twice. But all in all, it's worked out quite nicely. And let's see here. What is this one? Jay. Oh, okay. So this guy, so there's a swimmer. There's somebody swimming around Kang Citadel. So there's obviously a big, like, donut water shape around the middle of the area uh, of Kang Citadel. And we, we know that someone's swimming around it. So I tried to find, like, a central location of, you know, somewhere I could be up high and see things. But I struggled miserably, as you saw. And now I'm going to need somebody with the camera ability. So, you know, like, Gwen Stacy, Spider-Gwen, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Ms. Marvel. There's quite a few people that have the camera mode. And essentially, once you pull the camera out, you kind of scroll around and look, and you can see that white square off in the distance is what I need to capture. So I'm going to use the old Spidey Man to go ahead and get a little closer and see if I can get a front and center spot and get that image. For me, I end up, I think I get over on one of these rocks, or right on the edge here, I believe. I drop down because I know he's off to my right, but he's getting close. He's, he's going around counterclockwise, so I know here in a second he's going to be out to my left and out of view but luckily for me i fell on this little ledge here and i just enough but i can't blow my camera oh and there he is oh no time's against me oh that's not a selfie so basically once you get the green square around him that is a successful picture make sure you actually take the photo and then of course return back to mr jj and give him that picture today day and let's see, do I actually, I think I teleport. I was going to say, it's a kind of long journey. And hey, look at the teleporter isn't very far from where we need to go. It saves our time by at least half. So we'll go ahead and do that and make our way to that blue halo. Come on, where are we going? Blue halo, we go. Oh, it's right down here. Drop it. Oh, it's around the corner. That was deceiving. All right, we'll go ahead and run up in there. And I think he's dissatisfied with this picture, if I remember correctly, too. Let's see. That's it? That's terrible. I could have drawn a better picture. Oh, well, maybe next time you could do your own dirty work there, JJ. Jay? That's right. Okay, we've got his trading card, and we're ready to move on to the next one, which happens to be a race. Ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. This one is for, what, Scarlet Spider? Okay. Um, all right, so again, w w let's not focus too much, but we do kind of wonder, where where is that web going? Uh, that's a funny angle. Let's make sure we don't look at it from that side. Anyhow, uh, all the way up the top of this building, we're going to find that race. I do believe I had to start this one over once or twice. Maybe not. Let's see here. Yep. Uh, oh, oh, so this says this race requires a flying vehicle. So I have run into a ton of problems with these races. Uh, some of you have said that Captain America's 4x4 has gotten you through those van races. They did not. It did not work for me. You can see I haven't even unlocked it right now, but I tried it a couple of times and then reverted my save. So it was relocked. 
But anyways, I, I tried it, I promise, and it did not work. Now, somebody said another vehicle worked for them too, and it didn't work for me. Now, that one told me I needed a flying vehicle, so I pulled out the Avenjet, and I did a terrible run. Like, it was the worst run ever trying to get through one of these races. Uh, I do okay until I miss something, and then trying to turn around or go backwards, it's just a mess. So, uh, hey, a flying character works, as you can see. I didn't even have to fool the game. Like, some of you were saying, too, like... Pick a character that it requires and then immediately switch to something you're comfortable with. And usually there's enough time in the race to go ahead and get you through. But look, that, that's actually right where I missed with the Avenged Jet too. And I just couldn't get back in time. So I made it pretty far. I made it over halfway. And this gets pretty squirrely too. Lots of turns. And of course, we're right above the old Kang rail. And, and those cars are zipping through pretty fast too. It is a little bit of a challenge. And I hope you guys get through this easily. Because I know there are a few races in the past that have really been tough. And a few of you just quit. You, you didn't even finish the game. You got like 99.9% .9 or something like that. But you got one race you couldn't finish. And I hope that's not the case with these ones. And if it is, let us know. And let TT Games know by tweeting to them on Twitter. And going to their Facebook pages and stuff because they do have the ability to make some changes to some things in the game. So if it's impossible and no one can do it, they might soften it up a little bit or nerf it, as we like to say in the industry. All right, we are back in Manhattan Noir, and we've got to freely. This one was also a pain in the tuchus for me. I, I ended up struggling for quite a while, actually, trying to figure out. No, that's right. That's not this one. It was another one. It's uh, it's a Hydra Empire one. That's right. This one's easy. Hydra Empire was a little bit tricky, and that's just user error. You guys probably got it easily, but I struggled a little bit. This one is pretty simple. You just have to uh, dig up some bits and then uh, use those bricks to go ahead and build a grapple plug. Once you use the grapple plug, it reveals Mr. Lee's safe escape and he jumps down and excelsiors us. That's right. And a bunch of studs come plopping out from somewhere, too. So hopefully you got your hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. Ho, ho, ho. There's a new one. Little wordplay for you. Hey, look at that. I already kind of ruined it for you and told you that the shocker was the boom boss battle character. But we've got round two about to commence with the shocker. And, you know, this is not one of my favorite boss battles. There are some bosses that I just don't care for. He wasn't the worst, but he certainly wasn't the quickest or the easiest either. And to be honest with you, it, it, I do kind of struggle with depletering that metering. So, I, I, you know, hey, if you're in a hurry, he, there's nothing else to see here other than completing this. If you can't beat him, like if you struggle like I do... Uh, you know, feel free to watch me struggle. It might make, make you feel better, if nothing else. I don't know if I'll give you any tips or tricks, or maybe you'll find the reason why it's taking so long. But, look, I just pushed him in front of a moving car, and that didn't even seem to help or hurt his meter at all. He got a little bit depleted, but, I mean, I feel like I've done some pretty good damage to him, but yet there's nothing really showing that. So, ooh, there was a bluesy. Got to get them all. All right. I'm throwing everything Iron Man's got at him, and he is just shocking the crap out of me. But that's all right, though. We'll, we'll eventually get in there and give him a little taste of his own medicine. You know, I didn't even think about that. I should have brought out Thor and tried to pump, 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 pump him up. Should have charged the Shaka up. Man, that'd be funny, huh? Shocking the Shaka. All right, I don't know what that car is just kind of floating in the air for. Just run him over already. Help us out. Ooh, his lock's gone. I'm going to get up close. And look, at see, I got the claws out. And I'm just not doing a whole lot of damage. Even though I'm making contact with him, his, uh, his boss skills are uh i don't know he's, he's clearly ate his wheaties this morning or something i don't know what's going on but see look and, and then i get stuck in this rhythm and i'm like all right uh, maybe at some point it'll pop up no that could have gone on forever right there i think then he runs back down clearly there's some sort of a uh, uh, focal point right there that he likes to be in but uh you know he jumps on me and oh oh look at that all of a sudden he's dead that worked out in my favor Hey, if you haven't checked us out on Patreon.com, please do. Uh, if you have any questions about it, ask me away and I'll answer away. Uh, but hey, that's going to do it for Manhattan Noir Free Roam. As you can see, we've got it all. And uh, hey, hopefully you found this video fun, exciting, and maybe even helpful. If you guys have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them down below. And of course, check out the video description for all of our social links. And if you haven't already seen this video right here, right, right there, check it out. It's a thumpy must-see, as you can see. So hey, that's it for me. As always, until next time.